Whoa. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Get to her. I'll find you. I think the next one is called The Fall. Oh no. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, let's move quick. Let's move quick. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. In fact, I devised a much more elaborate trap further ahead for when you got through this easy one. If I'd known you let yourself get captured this easily, I would have just dangled a turkey leg on a rope from the ceiling. Oh. Well, it was nice catching up. Let's get to business. I hope you brought something stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh-huh. Seriously, though, goodbye. <laughs> One more. Oh. Come on. You were busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath. Hello. I hate you so much. <laughs> Warning. Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Let's core go. Transfer. Come on. Oh, you. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core, are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core, are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes, she is. No, 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 oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Pull me out, pull Unless me out. a stalemate associate is present to press the stalemate resolution button. Pull me out. Leave me in. Leave me in. Go, go press it. Don't do it. Yes. Not so oh. fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. You're unqualified. Stalemate resolved. Please return Here we to go. transfer bay. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. <laughs> Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just no, you're not. You are. It is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly. How painful are we? To ah! Whoa. No, stop. No. 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 Damn, they got the auto tune in here. Ooh. We did it. I'm in control of the whole facility now. Whoa. Would you look at this? Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me right here. I am bloody massive, aren't I? Bloody. Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it down. There we go. Lift cool. Look how small you are down there. I could, let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. <laughs> and check this out. I'm a bloody genius now. Estás usando este software de traducción de forma incorrecta. Por favor, consulte el manual. I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, the lift. Yes, sorry, I forget. This body is amazing, seriously. I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge. <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this is? Uh-oh. I did this. Tiny little Wheatley did this. You didn't do anything. It's like a Disney movie. She did all the work. Good oh, guy, bad me. guy. That's what the two of you think, is it? Well, maybe it's time I did something then. What are you doing? No, no, no. And don't think I'm not onto you too, lady. You know what you are? Selfish. I've done nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. 
All you've done is boss me around. Well, now who's the boss? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Ah! See that? <laughs> that is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying, yes. you're lying. You're the tumor. Mm. Now, now it's the fall. We should be halfway done now. And if I have time, I might finish the whole game. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere, alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. <laughs> Good, that's still working. Just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. Yeah. Boom. Okay, this is the good part. <laughs> Ooh. Crazy environment design, eh? Do I go there? No. Oh, I go here. Oh my god. Condemned testing area. You're telling me to zoom in? Because I suck at the game? Yeah, you're probably right then. You're probably right. Hmm. What else? Is that where I came from? Yeah, that's where I came from. I gotta go up there. 
Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Huh? What in the world? Oh. Is that where it came from? Wait, it is. I go this way. Creepy. I gotta time it. Watch this. <laughs> that entire thing just for this one tiny door. Let's go. About two hours in here. Let's see what time is it? 2.45? I got time. Uh, might do another two hours maybe? Science world! Whoa! What is that? To science. Oh no, I didn't jump. Oh, what the heck am I doing? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. There we go. you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Repulsion Those of you volunteer gel. to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Here we go. Game just got more interesting. 
Uh, I gotta go over there. Go over here. And let's Good see. Dad, if you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, oh. please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. I got blue, so I got a orange. Wow, of course. Of course. Got orange, I need blue. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Repulsion Chow. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not Ooh. here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. something the lab boys call repulsion gel you're not part of the control group by the way you get the gel last poor son of a gun got blue paint <laughs> all joking aside that did happen broke every bone in his legs Tragic, okay. but informative or so i'm told so repulsion gel makes you jump it's like a trampoline makes you go boing boing okay so this is a new new kind of uh, tool you can say okay, I gotta catch that you gotta go back up there man this game is so cool the lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group they're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Okay. I need to get up there. Nope. Oh, other way. Wait, is it? We'll see. Let's find out. I think it's this way. Yeah. No, it's not. For this next test, we mm. put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we oh. took care of that too. Hmm. Got to be something that turns that around. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is getting more challenging now for sure. I mean, all I gotta do is look around. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, so close. Come on. This part's pretty cool. Let's go back. Okay. What now? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I gotta go up there. Yeah, okay. Gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. <laughs> we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. It's like a venom. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. <laughs> that's <laughs> asbestos. The say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning have a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the code Wait. of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my Nothing. calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I could be oh. in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Hmm. That's so cool. Okay, I gotta go up there. Go up there. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now I need to jump down and Nope. That's not right. I got lost, I got lost. Let's try that again. Okay, that stays there. I do need to jump down. Maybe I just pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I did. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction.
so now, fun. If you're part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh. No. Um... Uh, no. Maybe. Come on. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's not right. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's timed, but I still can't jump over. Oh, because now I can put the thing. Ah, I'm so slow. I am so slow. Alright, let's go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. Alright, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Wait. Need the blue paint to go over there. But now I need to jump down over here. Do an orange. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Oh no, now I need to go up. Right there. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like protection. They didn't fly into space, storm on a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Hmm. Where do I need to go? The exit. Hey, okay, that lowers it. Okay. Not quite, not quite. There you go. Science isn't about why, it's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't get you on the butt on the way out because you are fire? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff out the front door. Parking lot, car, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 